Use code 8 place Dave to save 5% on your order at Face to Face Games, Canada's largest Magic the Gathering store, where qualified orders receive free shipping Canada wide. Support the channel and visit facetofacegames.com today. So I recently came across this lot of bulk cards for sale for 100 Canadian dollars, so I figured, you know, that's a lot of cards, it's probably worth buying. It'd be cool to, to look through anyway. Even if there's nothing of huge value, it'll definitely be fun to look through all these cards. So, like, uh, each one of these boxes should have around a thousand cards in it. Uh, you can see I've taken one out. It's right there. Uh, so, I have about 12,000 cards to look through. Should be fun. And so, I looked through a little bit of this one already. It's the red box. About that much of it. And uh, I did find some cool stuff, actually. So, there's a bunch of random foils in here, but uh, these ones, not a whole lot of value here. This is uh, some of the premium deck series Fire and Lightning thing. I'm pretty sure the only card that has value from that is Lightning Bolt and uh, Price of Progress. I think that's the other one. There's some decent stuff in here out aside of that, uh, aside from that though. So, like Dragon Lord Servant, not bad from Dragon's Dark here. Pirate's Pillage, that's a good uncommon. That's gone up in value recently and there's actually a foil one which surprisingly is sitting at around like ten dollars right now so that's a pretty nice one to find it's an old commander card has a bit of value sarkin's triumph lava spike that's nice and just some other cards here that you know maybe there's not a whole lot of value but they're definitely playable anyway things like this i wouldn't consider these to be bulk and some random foils but anyway, I've looked through like half of one of these boxes and found this already, so I'm feeling pretty hopeful about this lot. So let's continue to look through it, shall we? And there's also kind of a bit of old stuff here. Uh, I don't expect there to be anything uh, of value in the old stuff, but it's still just fun to find. Alright, let's see what's in here. Seven dwarves. You know, you can't play any number, but you can play more than four, so people still want it. Another seven dwarves. I'll just take out all the foils, probably. Uh, the person said this is all pretty much all commons and uncommons, but there might be some rares in here, so maybe we'll find a couple. Red Cap Melee is a very playable card. Once again, doesn't have a lot of value, but... Uh, I think it's because it was printed as four of in a challenger deck or something like that. I, I'll take the every time I find this this cycle of land, I take these out because once again, it's playable. Lots of throne of Eldraine stuff here. I see. Could potentially take out Merchant of the Veil, vale, but I'll leave it for now. So I kind of feel like I found a. Um, pretty decent amount of good lots like this recently. Like, I, it's kind of weird because I don't, a lot of the time I don't actively look for these, but uh, I'll just randomly decide to, you know, check out fa either Facebook Marketplace or like a GG or some, you know, online marketplace like that. And then sometimes this will be like the first thing that I find is there's like a brand new listing that looks decent. So I'll end up contacting them and... Uh, a few of them have turned out to be pretty decent, actually. The Mog Funkies, there's another Fire and Lightning one there. Mog Fanatic. I played that for a very brief while in my modern burn deck. That card was much better before the damage on the stack rule got changed. I believe they said that all of this stuff is in between, um, I think, original Zendikar block and Crimson Vow. So there's, you know, quite a few good commons and uncommons that could be in here. Found a few of them already. Some cards from Mirage here. That's cool. Nemesis. Nemesis. 
put this in this stack of old stuff. Urza's something, one of the Urza's current sets. A nice another Pirate's Pillage. Check that over there. Foil Faithless Looting, that's kind of cool. Band in Modern, but still very playable in Commander. This card is wrecked. I take a Wily Goblin. I'm kind of biased towards this because I played in my Pioneer deck, but I think it's a good card. It's not uncommon that it only has one printing in a, you know, not so popular set. Not sure if this one has any value or not, but we'll take it out. Uh, Breakneck Rider did have some value for a bit when uh, Werewolves came back and Midnight Hunt. I don't know if it does anymore. Sure are a lot of Fanatical Five Rands in another Pirate's Village. I haven't seen any of the... Uh, forget what it is, the uncommon from Rivals, where it's like, uh, do two damage to a creature you control and four damage to a creature you don't control. That's one that went up recently. Yeah, I'll take out the Young Pyromancer, sure. Goblin War Drums from, is that, uh, Fallen Empires? See red, that's how you win an MMA fight, right? I don't know how many of you will get that reference. Uh, I think Citadel of Pain actually has some value. There's a couple of them in pretty decent shape. It's cool. There it is, Reckless Rage. That's the card I was talking about. That one's gone up recently. There's another one. Number three. Well, we gotta place it. How about a foil? Oh, that's pretty sweet. Uh, okay, so out of this first box, a uh, pretty decent amount of stuff worth taking out. Interested to see what will be in the other boxes. I wonder if we could potentially find something like Pitiless Plunder in the black box. I'm going to put these cards back in here. Maybe I'll speed up this part. All right, so there are two black boxes. There's actually two blue, bo uh, two red boxes as well. So we're gonna check in all these black boxes now, though. See if I can find a pitiless plunderer. Bunch of uh, more of the spark stuff in there. I feel like Weaponcraft Enthusiast, because it's uh, three bodies for three mana, that one seems like it has potential to me. So I'll probably keep that. Like, I have a big box of cards like that where, you know, it's not really worth anything. It's still bulk priced, but it seems like it, seems like it has potential if the right deck comes along for it. Tyrant's Choice is a cool card. When this was spoiled, people were talking about, I think, potentially playing it in, like, Legacy Burn or something. Because it's similar to the Boros Charm. You can do four damage with two mana. But I really got there. That one has a little bit of value. Indulgent Aristocrat. Pawn of Ulamog, that's good. That one's the Commander reprint. <laughs> so, one thing I like to do is purposely read words wrong in my mind uh, when I see them, just because it, it's funny to me. So whenever I see this, I know it says Vicious, but I always read it in my brain as Viscous Conquistador. It's very liquidy. 
I don't know if anyone else does that. It seems kind of, kind of a weird thing to do. Uh, final parting actually has a bit of value in Dominaria there. Foil Transgress. If it was in Standard, you know, years ago, this would have some value. Curse of Shallow Graves. I'm not sure on this. It's a random commander card, but I'll take it out to check anyway. Curse of Disturbance. Same with that. I wonder if there will be a Curse of Opulence. That'd be sweet. In that other red box, maybe. Sir Conrad. That actually has a bit of value. It's pretty decent uncommon. Maybe Revenge of Ravens. I don't know. I'll take it out. Cauldron Familiar. Definitely a very played card. Ashiox Adept. I'm going to take that out just to put in my binder because I don't know if I have one of those. Yeah, Crypt Incursion. Uh, Tainted Strike and Phyresis. Uh, some stores will buy those, actually. Take it out. Big Game Hunter. Maybe. Same with Plague Crafter. Not sure if Elgis Reborn has any value anymore. It did for a little bit. Sanguine Bond is pretty good on common. Once again, I'll take this out because I'm not sure on it. Yargle. See a Street Wraith. That's nice. Right there. I feel like this might end up being broken up into two videos because there's quite a lot of cards to go through. Grabbing a Shupacabra, you know, it's still a good card. Got a little bit of value there. Nice. Pity of Splendor, that's awesome. This is kind of a prime reprint target for Double Masters 2. But at the moment, it's it's got to be one of the most valuable uncommons in modern, in the modern format. Even though, like, pretty much all that it's played in is Commander, but it just... Um, you know, sees it has that much demand for Commander. Can we find another? Can we find a foil? I had a foil, one of those actually. I believe I sold it for like $40 somewhat recently. There's a foil, Relentless Rats. Relentless Rats is always good. There's quite a few of them. <laughs> Relentless Rats and Rats of Wrath. Okay. Is a chupacabra. Not sure on this one. I'll take it out. Old school grave digger from Tempest. Nice. <laughs> Another video splendor. Sure. Take those all day. Actually, Arterial Flow has a bit of value, too. I might have passed by some of those, but whenever I buy these lots, I uh, I go through them multiple times. Like, I'll film this now as I go through it the first time, but after I film it, I'll go through it again, and probably another time after that, and I inevitably find things that I missed on the first one or two times. Uh, Wrench Mind, I don't think so. I'll take it out just to check. <laughs> Pityless Plunderer number three. Can we make it to a playset? Here's a Sealport Cutthroat. Karox Chant. Uh, yes, we can. There is number four. Number five. So that's like $50 plus in just pitiless plunderers. 
number six, number seven. Um, okay. I usually take out all of the four runners. So I don't know what Penny's Plunder is at right now. I believe it did get up to $15. So if it's still at 15, then that's like, what, close to a hundred dollars or, uh, yeah, about a hundred dollars in just Penny's Plunders. It's pretty crazy. More old school stuff. I'll have to check on these. Like, I assume they're just going to be commons and uncommons, but I'm not familiar with all the old cards, so there could be some rares in there. I'll probably just scan up all of the old cards after, see if there's anything that I'm unaware of. Yeah. Another Eldest Reborn. Oil Flincermite? I don't know what that is, but sure. Got the cool watermark there, the Phyrexian one. Rat Colony. Here's a five Rat Colonies. That's pretty awesome. This is one of the commons where you can have any number of in your deck, so those always have value. That's probably at least a couple bucks each. This did have value before it got reprinted, I believe, in Commander Legends 1. Even though it's just a common. Try to pronounce that. Oh wait, so we got some more Relentless Rats here, sure. Take those out. Couple of almost a place out of foil septic reds, just missing one there. Or is that the one that I found earlier? Anyway, there's three of them there. I'm surprised that settle the score isn't worth more. So it's a four mana sorcery exile a creature, but put two loyalty counters on a planeswalker you control. It's a pretty unique effect. Whenever I find this, I, I'll, I'll just keep it because it's one of those cards where it seems to me like it has potential. I'll keep that one too. Alright, so that was the first black box, and uh yeah, that was a that was a pretty good one to go through. <laughs> the seven pitiless plunderers there. Let's put all these cards back in here and go through another one. Alright, so I've only looked through two of the boxes out of twelve so far, and I'm just gonna do a little recap already, but uh so far I wanna say there's probably more than $150 worth of stuff here, which is kind of crazy. Like a lot of it is because of these pitiless plunderers, but things like this, uh, some pretty decent value there as well. Plus these red cards that I found. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty optimistic about this one. Gotta say, so let's continue on, shall we? Um, yeah, let's look through. The second black box. I'm not sure what I'm looking for in here, because in this pile is uh, most of the black commons and uncommons that I can immediately think of that would have value. So I imagine they would have been in the other box, but maybe there will be more of them in here, or maybe there's some different ones that I wasn't thinking of. This is cool. It's a disfigure from one of the promo packs from M20. This is another card where... I usually just take it out and keep it because it seems like one that could have potential. Uh, cling to dust, maybe. It's, it's playable. Got some Throne of Eldraine. Some more War of the Spark here. Commander. So there is more Ixalan and Rivals. Here's Artillery Flow. More Ixalan and Rivals stuff in here. So there 
could be more pitiless plunderers. How about an exsanguinate? Uh, yeah, let's take that out. Zulaport cutthroat. All right, so there's good stuff in this box as well. Victimize, I'll take it out, but it's been printed so many times that it's basically bulk. Chupacabra, a little bit of value there. Vindictive Vampires, kind of, you know, it's not quite a Blood Artist, but it's similar. Vampire Nighthawk, this would have value, but once again, it's been printed a million times. I'll, you know, I'll still take it out anyway. What set is that? Oh, is that a Rakdos Guild Kit? Yeah, it looks like it. It's kind of cool. If this was foil, it would be pretty cool. I'm going to take it out anyway, though, because it's one that goes in a lot of decks. It's an Unearth. It's a pretty decent common. I'll come back to it later. Same with the... Uh, that ninja seems pretty crappy, actually. I believe it's the uncommon blue-black ninja from Modern Horizons 1 that has some value. I don't know what it's called, though. Or two would just find. I feel like that's been happening. So there's some uh, Ravnica allegiance. I wonder if that means in the blue box will we find some uh, persistent petitioners. Pretty good chance. Empire of the Dire Moon, that's a good uncommon. Three of them right there. Noxious Grasp from the same cycle as uh, Veil of Summer. Doesn't really have much value, but this is another one where if I find it, I'll just hold on to it. Because it, it is a very good card. Kyle's Ghost Form is a common that actually has a tiny bit of value from more of the spark. An old school morning. Foil Thorn of the Black Rose. Black Rose. I feel like it probably won't have that much value because once again it got reprinted. But uh, and there's two uncommons there, or two uh, non foils, but. Uh, that was a common that had a pretty decent amount of value for, uh, from Conspiracy 2. Uh, empty deck box here. This uh, Zendikar. Was it uh, Eldrazi versus something or other? Zendikar versus Eldrazi? Okay, so we got some non-black cards in here now. Interesting. Some Avacyn Restored, Dark Ascension. Could be some good stuff. Some newer stuff here. Uh, Crimson Vow. Bunch of tokens. Yeah, slug token. I'm pretty sure that's a pretty rare token, actually. That's cool. M21 stuff. Some uh, adventures in the Forgotten Realms. Could find a. Can never remember, remember the name of it. There's the yeah right there, Deadly Dispute. So this one, until recently, this was like a you know five or six dollar common, but it just got reprinted in Commander Legends too. Still a good common though, so definitely it'll 
hold on to that. Portable hole, nice. The pee hole there. Oh, pretty decent amount of good stuff in that box too. Add this to the pile of good stuff. Fill this box back up and check another one. Let's look at this green box. Quantly. So that's an empty box. I guess that's dividing something. All right, let's see what's in here. Cool. Oil. Uh, showcase art, Chittering Harvester. That's neat. Not really valuable, but it's cool. So we got a bunch of uh, Ikoria here. Some decent commons and uncommons in Ikoria. Cutting Knife Bonder, Xena Flare. Those are, those are playable ones, but there's some other ones that have some decent value. The big one is... Uh, uh, uncommon Black Enchantment. That's like Blood Artist. I'll know it if I see it. Uh, this one's pretty decent too, Call of the Death Dweller. I usually keep this card as well. This is a random Chrysali Pride Mage. <laughs> I'll take it out. Looks like a bunch of tokens here. Could be some good tokens. Assassin, maybe not that one. Probably have to come back and recheck these tokens. Poison counters, maybe. This is a cool thopter. Oil illusion slash sapperling, that's neat. Nellish Missionary. Hmm. Colossal Dreadma. The rarest card ever. Imagine if we could find a hash up oasis. That would be incredible. Silver Smoke Ghoul. I'll take them out. Oh, Conflict Mentor is pretty good. Foil Weather the Storm is pretty cool. It's got a little bit of clouding there. Take those out. Eternal Witness? Uh, yeah, I'll take that out. <laughs> Definitely a uncommon with value. Hydra's Growth, that's a good uncommon from Theros Beyond Death. There could be a Destiny Spinner in here as well, potentially. I imagine we'll find at least one. There it is right there. Another Hydra's Growth. Uh, Rod Wolf? I'm not sure on this one. If it has value, it's probably not a lot, but I'll take them out anyway just to check. Because it has Infect, right? So you never know. Sky Shroud Claim, that's a good common. It's cool. Battle Bond there. My favorite card is Six Slime. Thalid and Thalid Devourer. So this one eats this one. Here's a super off center card. I don't know if you can see the print register. Yeah, you can see the registration mark. If it'll focus in the corner there. I'll set that one aside. Like, 
It's a pretty minor misprint. A little bit of damage there too, but I don't know, someone might want it. Alright, so there was some decent stuff in that green box. Not as much as the, the black one, but like, actually, yeah. It's a pretty good amount of stuff worth taking out. Let's go on to the next box. So this one should be pretty interesting. Apparently this is multicolored. Oh, cool. Got these uh, oversized commanders in here. Commander 2019. It'd be cool if we could find some of the rares from those decks, but I'm not going to hold my breath. So there's the multicolor stuff here. Yeah, it looks like it. Alright, so that one probably is dividing the red or whatever this is in the multicolored stuff. Anyway, let's start looking through it. Uh, Regal Bloodlord. Maybe. I think Seder Enchantmer, Enchanter might have a bit of value. Not sure on that. Empty box again. And growth. Okay, so I'm guessing this is going to be multicolored stuff. Looks like it. Um, Empyrean Eagle, I'm not sure. I'll check it. The fire and ice. Golgari charm, that's decent. Legion Lieutenant is good. I'll take out the Stromkirk Captain as well. <laughs> Reflector Mage. Emmer Wolf, nice. It's a pretty good hit. There's another card from the premium deck thing. I think Drama's Emissary has a, a little bit of value. I also like to take a Call to the Feast just to hold on to. I mean, it creates three vampires with lifelink for four mana. Seems pretty good. Oh, cool. Two Rhythm of the Wild. That's a good uncommon. Ravnica Allegiance there. Drown in the Lock, nice. Good one from uh, Throne of Eldrain. Check out Grim Gully too, has combo potential. <laughs> the Rhythm of the Wild, sure. I uh, was a Guild Mage. It's very playable. Copter Foundry is good, but it's been printed a whole bunch of times. Oh, a Foil Legion Lieutenant? That's pretty sweet. Oh, it has some value to it. And there's a Merfolk, the, the other Lord from the same set. Another Legion Lieutenant. Dusk Mantle, Guild Mage. It's playable. Here's Ancient Excavation. That's a pretty good card from Commander 2016. This one's pretty beat up. Another Rhythm of the Wild. Yup. G Spark is good. Creel Celebrant's good. And Grass Rampage is good. Some 
uh, Legion Lieutenant and Scrum Crypt Captain. Another ancient excavation right there. Poison Tip Archer is a decent uncommon for M19. Yet another good box there. All this stuff from the multicolored one. Uh, put this stuff back away, but uh, these are my piles of good stuff. Or So good stuff as well as non-bulk. I want to check one of the blue boxes next. So here's one of the blue boxes, and I'm still not even halfway done looking through this stuff. This is the box number 6 of 12. There's another divider box there. Some mystery booster stuff here. Ancient stirrings used to have value. Same with experiment one. Consulate Dreadnought and Ronos's Monument. I think those actually have a, a little bit of value. It's a cool thirst for meaning. So you got that unicorn, got some foil stuff here. This is here. It's not bulk. Empty box again. So in one of these blue boxes, this is one of them, there's another one there. I'm expecting to find some peti uh, persistent petitioners, probably. Top scour. Hey, preordain. Got reprinted in... Uh, oh, nice remand. Well... Uh, Corrupted Conscience, I think, is pretty decent, too. Some decent stuff altogether there, but uh, Preordain got reprinted at Common. Incomander Legends 1. Uh, this card is pretty good. Marrow Regiri. It's from uh, the Merfolk vs. Goblins dual deck. Wonderful find, curious obsession. That could be a good uncommon to hit. Foil. It's a silver gold adept. Not really worth a whole lot anymore. Sure, I'll check it anyway. Latin M's Legacy, interesting. Rethink. Essentially Etherize, I think. Might have a little bit of value there. Dramatic reversal is a good uh, a good common from Kaladesh. Not sure on memory lapse. I'll check it. Essence flux. Sure. Maybe flavor of the winds. Not sure on that one also. Same with Curse of Inertia. Never know with the curses. Sometimes they surprise me. 
These random curses have value. Oil eel umbra. Hopefully eel umbra has value because I'm finding a bunch of them, but it might not. Yeah, there's a daze there. It's pretty decent. It's from uh, Eternal Masters. All right. So first, uh, through the first blue box, uh, not as much as I was expecting in this one, but still a decent amount of uh, non-bulk things and some stuff that does have value, like days. Dramatic reversal. Uh, some pretty decent things here. Uh, where was it? A couple of remands. That's nice. So we'll add those to the pile. And also a bunch of old things here too. So I'm halfway through these boxes now. I got six more of these to go through. Probably I'll make a second video, I think, because this is going to be a really long video otherwise. And, uh, yeah. Break it up into two parts. So that's going to end this one here. And I'll put a link to the second part so you can continue watching if you would like. So I'll just do a quick little recap of some of the cool stuff that we found in this first part. Uh, see this day's here, let me just go through quickly and see some neat stuff. Couple of rem uh, remands there. Uh, I feel like a lot of the really good ones are going to be in the black pile. Uh, there was, uh, what's in here? Destiny Spinner, Hydra's Growth, Eternal Witness, those are good ones. Got uh, Conclave Mentor, I believe there is a... Uh, What's it called? Drown in the Lock in the other pile here. There's all these pitiless plunderers. That's pretty sweet. Seven of those. A bunch of rat colonies. Pond of Ulamog. Final Parting. These curses do have value. A whole bunch of relentless rats. Those are like two bucks each, including a foil one there. Sir Conrad's good. So yeah, see all this just nice black commons and uncommons, things like that. What else have we got in here? Uh, some, you know, Chupacabras. A little bit of value there. Uh, what else? Let's see. Oh, uh, a bunch of Legion Lieutenants. There's a Foil Legion Lieutenant, which is pretty sweet. There's at least four Rhythm of the Wild, I believe. Mm, yep, yeah, Rhythm of the Wild there. Some Immerwolf. I think there's a couple Immerwolves. So, yeah, I'm not going to go through all of these individually, but yeah, there's a, there's quite a bit of good stuff in this the first half of this uh, giant bulk lot that I bought. Some good red cards here too. Reckless Rage, Pirate's Pillage. There's a Foil Pirate's Pillage. A uh, Foil Reckless Rage as well. So, uh, quite pleased with this so far. So like I said, I'm going to break this video up into two separate ones because it's going to be super long otherwise. Uh, so I'll put a link to the second, to the second video. I'm going to start opening those up now. But... Uh, yeah, if you're still watching, thanks for watching. It'd be cool if you can like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff. But otherwise, I'll talk to you later.